Dear students, so today uh, we will discuss about 11 different trends for 2024 related to artificial intelligence and human resource. Since we know that the field of HR is constantly evolving and is changing and there is a response to the changing workplace and trends, so we need to address the challenges with, with respect to the technological advancements and societal expectation. So in this presentation, we will try to highlight some of the latest developments in HR analytics. So there are three different themes for the HR um, uh, and artificial intelligence and that is that the first theme is HR realigning its priorities and the second is HR operating model is changing with respect to the time and the third is HR as a force for good right so in these three themes we have 11 different trends right so uh, we will starting we will be starting with the resolving the productivity of paradox and then tapping into the hidden workforce the third would be the point of no return for DEIB and the fourth is HR driving climate change adaptation. The fifth would be like from silos to the solution. Sixth would be HR lean in and seventh would be HR meets PR. The eighth is about uh, which is inspired from the artificial intelligence empowered work evolution. And then we need to see that how the shift work life balance from to the work life fit okay uh, the 10 is about the end of the bs jobs and the 11 is from talent acquisition to the talent access so we will discuss one by one and we will see that how it impacts our daily life and how it will be beneficial for 2024 so the first one is resolving the productivity paradox so what is that paradox is that that with the significant economic changes in the world there is a disruptions and um, uh, with respect to the technology advancements over the last uh, past 20 years when we have the internet we have the internet of things we have uh, uh, social media the power of the social media and we have artificial intelligence machine learning so these technologies has impacted uh, uh, our society and hence the hr as well so we will see that what are the different like you know impact of this developmental on the productivity of the HR agenda and definitely there is a high impact of uh, these technological advancement and now we have the different tools like ATS applicant tracking system the HR are not using the manual system because in case if they are using a manual system and they receive let's suppose 10,000 CVs so it would be very very difficult for HR to see and judge and assess each and every CV. So the evaluation of the CV will be made by the artificial intelligence tools like ATS and by giving us some threshold values and the keywords we can like you know reduce the number of CVs from 10,000 to even 10 CVs and it will become easy for us to judge the CVs. Second most important thing is tapping into the hidden workforce. Since uh, we have the HR have some like you know strict rules and regulations with respect to the degrees qualifications competency experiences but we have neglected uh, some uh, some like you know workforce in like in US 14 to 17 workforce has been forgotten they have not been like you know engaged into the mainstream some people are like maybe uh, retired people some could be like you know uh, the people who like got rid from the prison like ex inmates and people without degrees so these are like you know the areas where HR need to focus over there and they have to uh, bring into the mainstream so that it could be beneficial for the society so we believe that in 2024 is the area in which this workforce will no longer be forgotten third most important thing is the point of no return for DEIB right so initially we focused on DEI only, but now we have to look at the DEIB. So what is DEIB? DEIB is basically um, the, the term will be reinvented like diversity, equity, inclusion, and the, the fourth new thing is the belonging over there. So it means that there should be diverse employees, uh, people from the different backgrounds, from the different community, from the different ethnicity, from different uh, culture, equity means like you know people from the different like you know uh, background they should be treated equally whether they are from different ethnic groups or from different culture 
and inclusion means like they should be uh, like included into the uh, into the mainstream of the HR or mainstream of the organization and uh, uh, should be considered uh, as as equal employee and the next thing is the belonging that the employee should have like you know feelings to be to belong to a certain organization and they should like feel at home so <clears throat> we have seen that there at the same time that we have uh, we see the discontent with the deib departments and companies like even amazon and twitter and left to have laid off die professional okay. so we see that deib initiatives in their current form also risk negatively impacting the employees attitudes and finally we have seen that diversity officer not fit in themselves or fail to see the impact of their work and the four most important thing is about like uh, related to the sustainability the hr driving climate change adaptation so nowadays the hr role is not just like a, uh, a manual or machinic role just to process the the employees for the for the company but they have to uh, they have to like you know treat the employees uh, with respect to the climate change uh, with respect to resilient whether the employees are resilient for that uh, climate change uh, it must be informed about the issues related to sustainability uh, according to the united nations um, agendas which is called sdg goals 17 sdg goals and prepare for environmental disruptions the fifth most important thing is from silos to this uh, solution uh, previously uh, people were working in a different like you know departments and they were not like connected to each other but with the passage of time and under the all um, rich model we need to like you know address new these issues and uh, and we should go for the solution not work in the silos right so this evolution will start in 2024 as silos hr services begin to integrate into fully developed solution so the six most important point uh, in the 2024 would be hr leans in right so uh, we have seen that previously uh, some of the processes were extra and they were not needed uh, instead of like you know 10 processes we were uh, it could be reduced to the three or four processes and by this way uh, the as the hr process could be very refined and lean one right so we have seen that uh, 73 percent of hr leaders and 73 76 percent of c suit leaders means like ceo and cfo they believe that their hr teams focus primarily on processes uh, and 63 percent of c suit leaders see hr role as administrative right so what we need to do in 2024 hr will turn this around and rediscover its identity and it needs to lean into the strategic strategic conversations hr meets pr since we are in the global village and uh, whatever happens inside the organization comes to the public people they use tiktok people they use facebook people they use uh, uh, instagram and they share their views and there's a freedom of choice right so sometimes if there is a, some layoff or there is like you know bad attitudes in an organization uh, the people publish that one in quora.com or everywhere so we have seen that uh, 10 million views like you know for for the for the TikToks when they fired people uh, was there right so and similarly for like zoom and jp morgan and goldsman sachs order uh, employees back to the offices and the employees sharing their onboarding packages with the world so hr is not a black box hr is just like a white box a glass box and it's like you know transparent people can see over there and the discontent with the internal policies also get shared more right so hr needs to be vigilant with respect to this as well so at google like you know workers protest about layoffs in the new york california london zero but also about the union busting and even in nearly cancelled drag shows in the span of about five months right so these stories often makes headlines right <coughs> with little consideration for internal context and how it communicated to the employees and yet they shape public opinion so the eight is the most important thing which is called ai powered workforce evaluation so with the advent of uh, technologies like artificial intelligence and machine learning like chat gpt google bard and these like you know the work process has been uh, productivity has been increased and the, the the time which the employee used to do in a in a, in a in a extra laborious work has been reduced over there so we need to integrate 
the uh, the manual process with the ai so that the transformation is becomes easier and it will lead to the sustainability as well the ninth is about shifting work life balance to the work life fit so since we have uh, we have been shifted from the from the previous generation to the new generation and here we not only look for the work life balance but we will see that whether we like this job or no right so if this job is not like suitable for me if this is second priority for me then i am going to quit that job and i will be going for the for the job which i like it right so it means that 15% like you know uh, when there was a survey was conducted so 15% say that whatever the money you give us to us we will not go back to the to the job right so uh, it means that uh, people they, they they have reduced HR need to think that instead of five days they can we can shift to the four days work as well and working from the ho home is also now should be an option. So workers are dissatisfied with the work and organization have been failing to address this trending HR topic. So in Chinese also like lying flat our balance concepts are the uh, similar concepts are there. Uh, the 10th most important thing is the end of the BS job. So it's, it's a fantasy now. The BS job means like, you know, uh, if you see that uh, bullshit job means like uh, jobs which is uh, not uh, people like it and they are not satisfied and they think that we are not contributing to the society. So this kind of jobs like, you know, is, is going to the end and the technology is going to uh, accelerate your skills. So with 83, 83 million jobs projected to, to be lost and more with the technology, 69 million new jobs has been created and designing meaningful jobs that match employees' strength becomes crucial to maintaining a competitive edge in evolving market. So the last but not the least from talent acquisition to the talent access. So in today's uh, historical tight labor market, we see a shift away from talent acquisition towards progression and promotion within the organization. So we need to attempt to bridge the talent gap by competing for external talent leaves the organization as a mercy of the labor market so we should believe on the growth inside the organization or inside the country without like you know looking for the outside acquisition so the last but not the least the conclusion is that that hr plays a critical role in ensuring the organizations are prepared for navigate the future work and we need to blend the innovation and strategies thinking that hr brings to the table will drive growth inclusive inclusivity and resilience so 2024 presents a world of opportunity it's a time for hr to rise and shine in the new era of the world so thank you very much and uh, see you next time